Okay, we're back on to shelf 28. This is the last uh, shelf of my update, so let's get right into it. First up, we have We Are Still Here. This movie is awesome, and it has some really kick-ass effects by uh, Marcus Cook, the guy who did like the American guinea pig stuff and everything. Uh, and honestly, some of the creepiest looking ghosts ever put on 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 film. It's awesome. See that movie if you get a chance. Next we have We Are What We Are. Um, this is the UK version. Uh, it's a cannibal flick. I haven't actually watched it yet. It looks like it could be good though. Now, What the Water's Left Behind. This movie is like the bastard stepchild of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and The Hills Have Eyes. And it wears those influences on its sleeve proudly and it's awesome because of it really fun flick good effects uh like uh argentinian i think uh something like that good good movie though werewolf the beast among us eh, it, it, it's all right it, it's pretty fun it kind of not not the greatest looking werewolf but you know it's what it is uh white vengeance uh i don't think i've watched this one yet I might have, I don't know. White Noise and White Noise 2 double feature. Uh, White Noise 1 is really good. Uh, White Noise 2, not so much. Um, yeah, so get it for part 1. White Zombie with uh, Bell Lugosi from Kino Classics. Um, it's it's Bell Lugosi, it's horror, it's like awesome. Great stuff. The Wicker Man, one of my all-time favorite films. This is the UK edition. It's got the final cut, and I think it's got, yeah, it's got the final cut, the theatrical cut, and the director's cut. So, three cuts of the movie, great stuff. The Wicker Tree, which is essentially like the spiritual successor, like, to The Wicker Man. It's not as good, but it's still, it's still, it, it's okay, you know, but it's not nowhere near the level of the Wicker Man. Uh, Wild China, it's just, you know, like a travel type thing, but it's kind of cool. Willow Creek by Bobcat Goldthwaite. Uh, pretty good, um, you know, like Bigfoot type movie. The Witch Steelbook. I love The Witch. My only complaint is it with it is it should have ended about, uh... You know, like a minute and a half earlier. <laughs> uh, Witchboard, good stuff. When a Stranger Calls and Happy Birthday to Me. See, that double feature, that makes sense. Some of them, they really don't. When the Lights Went Out. This is a UK movie about the... What was it? The uh, Black Monk of Pontefract uh, haunting. Really good movie. Uh, really solid. I love that movie. The Whisper in Darkness from the H.P. Lovecraft Historical Society. Really good movie. Um, good use of new and old effects. It works good. Wolf Cop. It, he's a wolf and he's a cop. And it's kind of awesome. Wolf Creek 2. Um, I never got part one on Blu-ray, but, you know, I should maybe pick that up at some time. The Wolfman, it, it's, it's, it's okay. It's too much CG, but still, you know, it's the Wolfman. You can't go wrong with it. Wolverine, good stuff. Uh, The World's End, Hot Fuzz, and Shaun of the Dead, triple feature. They are what they are. World War Z, when, uh, it's one of these... Steel packs again. The Woman in Black, a genuinely scary film. I've always liked it. Um, the original is better, but you know, is what it is. Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death, nah, not so much. This one isn't good. Wonder Woman, honestly, I haven't watched it yet. I've had it, I got it when it first came out on blue, and I've just never got around to watching it. Man, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff like that. Woodstock. It's Woodstock. What else do you need to say? 
Would You Rather with uh, Jeffrey Combs and Sasha Gray. Uh, is what it is. Wrath of the Titans, it was okay. I don't know why, um, you know, the main guy ended up with hair that looked like, uh, you know, that comedian guy. I can't remember his name, but you'd know him if you see him. The Wrestler with Mickey Rourke, really solid. Uh, the Wrong Turn Collection, um, these are just custom covers. Uh, they're the same cover, just kind of flipped. So I got, like, uh... One, two, and three, four, five, and six, all there, you know. The first ones were good, then it got kind of a bit iffy as it went on. Wu-Tang, the Iron Fist Collection. This is 25 old-school kung fu films. The quality's not great, but for some reason this now goes for, like, you know, $170 on, like, Amazon. I don't get it, but, you know, it is what it is. Wormwood, uh, Road of the Dead. Uh, zombie flick, really good. Uh, X-Men, uh, trilogy in there. So, come here, you bastard. X-Men, X-Men 2, United, or whatever, and, uh, X-Men The Last Stand, the less, the least, the less, the less said about that, the better. X-Men Origins Wolverine, it's, it's not great. But it's a Wolverine movie, so it's got to be in the collection, you know. X-Men First Class. Pretty good movie, honestly. I like that one. And X-Men Days of Future Past. I like that one as well. Then uh, X-Men Apocalypse. I, I still kind of like it. It's not as good as the other ones, but, you know, it is what it is. Yamada's First Time, a.k.a. B. Gata H.K., uh, interesting little anime flick, honestly. Yakuza Law from Arrow. It's Yakuza. It's Arrow. It's awesome. Yakuza Weapon with uh, Taksaka Gucci, the dude from uh, Versus. Pretty fun stuff, that one, honestly. Your Next. Really good home invasion flick. If you, if you haven't seen that, you're doing yourself a disservice. Young Frankenstein. It's awesome. You don't need to say anything else about it. Yojimbo. It's a Kurosawa film. That's all you need to say. It's awesome. Yu Yu Hakusho uh, Season 1. Yu Yu Hakusho Season 2. Yu Yu Hakusho Season 3. And Yu Yu Hakusho Season 4. Um, so the entire series, good, good anime there for sure. And we got Zodiac, one of the best, uh, you know, serial killer type movies ever made, honestly. Zombie Apocalypse, haven't watched that one. It's from the Asylum, so it's probably trash, but you know. Zombie Flesh Eaters, also known as Zombie, also known as, like, Zombie 2. Um, it's the Fulci flick. It's from Arrow. It's awesome. Get it. Zombie 3. Pretty decent. Zombie 4, not so much. <laughs> Zombie Night, a really actually solid film. I like that one quite a bit. Zombie Strippers. It's Zombie Strippers. It's exactly what you think it is. It's awesome. It's fun. Live with it. And Zombieland. Great stuff.